Following the controversy surrounding Namibia's fishing industry in recent weeks, we've decided to do an industry profile video on the sector, to look at how important the sector is to Namibia and its people, and its growth potential if it's managed in the right ways. An immediate indicator of the fishing sector's importance to Namibia comes in the area of employment. According to the 2018 Labour Force Survey by the Namibia Statistics Agency, agriculture, forestry and fishing is the largest employer by sector, with over 167,000 people, or 23% of all employed people in Namibia, working in those sectors. A significant portion of these jobs are blue-collar in nature, providing opportunities to individuals with a more hands-on skill set as opposed to industries such as wholesale and retail trade, which is also a large employer but of white and pink collar jobs instead. Another area that shows just how important the fishing industry is to Namibia is the exports department. Fish is Namibia's number one export revenue earner outside of minerals. With fish exports worth 9.6 billion Namibian dollars recorded in 2018, and if the fish export growth trends in recent years are to be believed, that number could yet grow. Between 2008 and 2018, Namibia's fish export values more than doubled, growing by 110%. When looking at the industry's total contribution to GDP as compared to other sectors, it becomes evident that the sector is not particularly one of the largest. The fishing sector ranks 12th out of the 16 sectors of the Namibian economy in terms of GDP contribution in 2018. But when you take a closer look, it becomes increasingly apparent that the sector has the potential to contribute a lot more. For starters, Namibia's fish consumption per person is currently around 11 kilograms per year, which is almost half the world average of 21.4 kilograms. So there's a lot of room for domestic consumption to improve which is healthy for both the people and the economy. Secondly, there are a lot of inland opportunities in the fishing industry that are largely unknown and underexplored. Horse mackerel and hay constitute roughly 94% of the marine fish caught in Namibia annually. The caught fish is either brought inland for processing, which creates additional jobs and business opportunities, or it's immediately frozen for export. The Hague industry is currently governed by a 70-30 to 30 policy that sees 70% of Hague fishing quotas granted to companies that bring the fish inland for processing, which has made the Hague industry the largest employer in fishing. The horse mackerel industry is lagging significantly behind its counterpart in this regard, but two large-scale horse mackerel processing plants have been launched in 2019 already, and there's a lot of room for new market entrants to meet the 70% value addition target set by government. Aquaculture is another area with a lot of potential in Namibia, given its innovative nature and that it can be implemented at a community level. The industry is still in its infancy in Namibia, with only 335 megatons of products coming in from the industry in 2018. In conclusion, Namibia's fishing industry is a large employer of blue-collar workers a large foreign currency earner and has a lot of growth potential in fish processing and aquaculture. I'm sure we can all agree there's no room for corruption in it. Foster digital education. Learn. Connect.